Hey everyone, Technomancer here with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to review iOS 18.4 on the iPhone XS. The top features, the performance, the battery life, and if it's worth upgrading or not. So let's dive right into it. Now, 18.4 has a lot of Apple intelligence related features that are not applicable on this phone because it doesn't get Apple intelligence. So that's right off the bat here. Now it does get other minor updates such as getting a new set of emojis, the ones that are displayed here. You're also, for some CarPlay user, see a third row of apps as well that's gonna be available. Now in the control center here, you're gonna see a new set of controls for ambient music that will be available such as sleep, chill, productivity, and well-being where you can directly play that music from Apple Music whenever you launch that as well. So those are features that are gonna be available. You're also gonna see an update for the App Store where you're gonna get summaries of reviews for a specific app before you download it. You can read that instead of combing through app. So if I go over here to app, right? If I look a little bit here, right here, instead of reading individual reviews, there's an automatic summary of what users think about this app. Now, along with that is that you'll have the option to pause any downloads. So if you're downloading something, you can also pause it as well. So again, neat features as well. Now for Apple Maps, you can now have the ability to set a preferred language as well. And then if you're using the Passwords app, you have an option as well here now to see a timer for two-factor authentication code for supported apps as well. So some of the other features that are going to be available. And then along with that is now you also have the ability to change your default translation app, which you couldn't do before. Instead of using Apple's Translate app, you can use a third-party app as well that you prefer. Again, those are some of the top features coming with this update. Now, like I mentioned, a lot of the updates are geared towards the Apple Intelligent devices, which unfortunately this one doesn't get. But in terms of performance here in this phone, again, it seems to be stable on this update. Now keep in mind, this phone is almost six years old phone and to get iOS 18 update, first of all, was a big achievement. And the second of all here, we might not see another big update for this one. So keep that in mind. Besides that, performance here, again, decent on iOS 18.4. We're not seeing any bug along these devices. Initially, it seems a little bit of slowness, but that's because it might just be an older device where it just doesn't have that much power. So some things are a little bit slow, which is expected compared to, a, if you're comparing to a new iPhone 16, it's kind of hard to compare with this phone because of the differences and the age of this device. But nonetheless, most of the apps here are working without any issues that we tested so far from your favorite entertainment app to your social media app to your video streaming app. Everything works as it should, which again is great news for us here using this phone if you still have it. Now, battery life wise, battery, I haven't seen the phone overheat or any sort of strange battery drain, which is good. So the battery has been stable. And which brings us to our final point, is 18.4 worth it or not? First thing is, if you're already on any of the 18 version, definitely update to 18.4 because it has some security and bug fixes and it's the most stable update. Now, if you're on 17, you might still be fine being on 17, but keep in mind, because sooner or later apps are gonna start dropping support for 17 on this device, you're gonna probably be forced to update to 18. And 18.4 18 is a great choice for upgrade, taking advantage of all those features and the stability of it as well. That's why I wanna hear from you. What's your thought on 18.4? If you updated to it for any of your devices, leave a comment in the comment section. And if you found this review, useful and helpful, please consider hitting the like and subscribe button and we'll catch you on the next one.